looking at what is the energy the next few days environmentally in love we're going to draw first from the animal oracle sun moon rising venus welcome to today's video or love story we, we're going to see whatever comes out welcome back to the channel and we are doing some animals first to see what's in the air this is what the deck looks like and it is by colette baron reed all right, for Libra's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, can you give me the essence to today? Also, the next few days, the position of Libra and their person, the possibilities, and let's see where they are cosmically in the uh, in the zodiac, in the zodiac world. Let's start it that way. Okay, so, and we're also going to do the Awaken deck too. Let's get started for today's story. I hear just one shuffle. Do one for Libra's. Okay, and we're going to end it there with a little bit of nine of swords. Okay, so I'm gonna do that face up so I could see it, Libras. Let's check out your animal oracle. We have 49, the rabbit spirit. Now is the lucky time. Okay, so first feelings from the card is that things are swiftly changing in the Libra's life. They could actually feel now that it is a lucky time for them. It could be opportunities to meet new people. It can be a new love interest. And these are very fertile animals, the rabbits, okay? Here, this one has like kind of wings, if you look close, that are leaves and sprinkled upon the ears there, the lucky little ears that move. It says that it is a prosperous, lucky time. 49 could mean something to you. Um, let's keep going to see what the energy fills out as. We have the dove spirit. And this is a part of freedom. Uh, let's see what else. It says be at peace as well. There's two common threads with the dove and the rabbit. I think this is what's on the Libra's mind in terms of being excited about something in life right now for the adult Libra. And then I see for the dove, this is what's just been released. Also, if you remember at funerals too, this is a sign of life as well when they release it um, after somebody, the ceremony's been over and everybody's about to go home or maybe in the middle thereof. So you have the dove so far and the rabbit. Shall we keep going? Let's keep going. There's good ones here. We have 27 and this is the fox spirit. As you see there, the eyes are so piercing almost to, uh, it's looking at a situation if we were to equate this to a person or a human being. So I'm going to put it up one more time. Who is this uh, trickster energy? This is like the seven of swords for me. As this oracle, it tends to show off tarot cards, uh, the essence and feeling. Okay, let's do one more shuffle. What's the likely outcome after we draw some tarot? What's the likely outcome that actually Libra is going to be receiving? Let's do that. And I'm going to put it right here under your dove. So we got the rabbit, the dove, and also pick which one you are in terms of your persona, personality, what you're feeling at this time. All right, and what's coming out for you is the swan and the horse. Freedom is yours if you seek it. Beautiful energy. I wanna say this white horse, you have two white, very pure animals today uh, signified with the dove, and then you have this gorgeous horse off to my left. So peace and freedom is yours. I feel like the fox knows this about you if you're watching today. This fox is observing the freedom that you're about to attain, okay? This can be a sibling, a father, a mother. It could be someone that once was a friend, a frenemy, or it can be an ex-counterpart, ex-lover, if you will, okay? So in this story, we have number 60, and what's about to come out? amazing the swan okay some of you could have a necklace with a swan on it or there's a painting in your home where this is prevalent or you see it every day you walk by at libras or maybe you're seeing like little knickknacks with the swan on it i i know that what i'm seeing here is someone has seen this lately on a keychain or something it says swan spirit time for a deep dive an intellectual moment where the Libra will pause and see these sort of signals sent from the universe. Some of you are getting angel numbers uh, in your actually waking life if this story is resonating. And also we have 60 here to end, okay? The Fox Spirit was 27, so that's gonna be a nine, all right? Uh, this person can be observing that you're in your independence. I think of nine of pentacles and I think of the nine of cups. So they are seeing that you're about to reach ultimate peace. Maybe some of you physically are revealing this in your face, in your aura, and many people are actually spotting this on your outside physical self. All right, let's clarify some with tarot, shall we? Let's clarify with the fox spirit now. Let's look at the fox, please. 
We did see the nine of swords at the beginning of the video. And as you guys know, that's about a lot of anxieties uh, can be associated to sleepless nights, as well as not being able to drop maybe a habit the nine of swords can sometimes be. So we're going to see how that influences the Libra. And this is your reading today. So you pick who all these characters might be. Uh, seven of cups choices maybe some of you are seeing the opportunities in your physical life the seven of cups can be hmm, i see a possibility to move i also see a possibility of a new romantic partner it's all coming to me in july okay seven of cups is a very positive card when it comes out for the individual so you do have good options here. I feel like some you can do away with. You know, we have to be realistic. Some of them aren't good for us, but we're going to keep going. What else is up for the Libra? We have the Five of Cups and the Fool. Um, yeah, new beginnings, new beginnings in most of the Libra readings lately. This is Aries too. Um, and that's, again, I go back to this a lot. Aries and Libra have such a cool relationship because they're on the same axis. So there's definitely, um, I feel like with the Peace card, the Dove, they go hand in hand. This is kind of like the oracle to match today. You are about to be set free, okay, which is financial freedom. This is about being able to float around and just work in the universal flow of things. And you're allowing that right now. A lot of you that are resonating with this video are allowing the flow to occur. So that way abundance and receiving can come into your life. And sometimes if we haven't received in a while, this is hard to get into, but you have a way out. Seven of Cups, options, choices. Uh, back in the day with the tarot, the lovers in this was choice. Okay, so let's keep going. You have Five of Cups here. I kind of feel like this is external to you today. Someone's in regret. They could be crying over spilled milk, as this is referred to by a lot of intuitives. So let's see what that is. All right, let's clarify these three cards. Let's look at the Seven of Cups. What does this possibly mean for Libra, please? Can you show me the Seven of Cups? I love this one. It's a little different, you know, it's a little varied today. It's the Three of Swords and the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. Okay, what I see immediately here is that after you took control and managing a past heartbreak with the Three of Swords, we have this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Cups that's coming in for you, a potential new love. There's a presence here. They could be an Aries, actually, Libra. They could actually physically be this sign. They don't have to be. They could be a boss, a father figure, someone who takes control, okay? I do believe a new love is more visible at this time. Take that how it resonates. Some of you physically have somebody that's interested in you and they're coming in, okay? Energetically, they're messaging you. They're saying new things to you, wanting to take you out, okay? And I know this is happening for a lot of you. Uh, five of Cups. Let's look at the regret and the crying over spilled milk. Let's look at this person. Uh, if this is you, Libra, I am sorry, okay, that you're going through this. If this is external, let's also examine that because the cards can show both ways. Five of Cups is clarified by the world, the Four of Cups. There is a sad feeling here about it, okay? Four of Cups to the Five. We also have a past decision that was made. I feel like this was already done, this Scorpio card of judgment, okay? Uh, we also have the world. This is ending a chapter for new beginnings. It's a closing out too. I feel like some of you, when you hear closing out for the world, this is an active thing that you went and did, okay? So whether or not this person is affected by it, via the five of cups here whoever this is they're understanding that it closed out okay and maybe the door had slammed very vehemently on them so they're dealing with the ramifications of that okay whoever five of cups might be and those are the three clarifiers let's continue to your fool card this was up next i feel like you're going to be seeing this in the next couple days you could be seeing the fool card in future readings in Libra light videos, we tend to be two days in advance. This is a very like predictive channel. Um, and I've been told even through the personals that I predict in advance. So we're just going to see a little bit here in today's video. We have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Wands. And we also have this Ace of Wands that keeps coming back. So a new beginning is being spawned by you, whether this is um, heavy strategy, whether this is taking time to plan it, and it's here in your reading clarified by someone who well can do it. The Queen of Wands, 
you know, for some of you, you definitely have fire in your chart. It's an actual thing. Um, and for some of you, this is carried through your will and your poise. And some of you have this real fervor to keep going, okay? There's something about how you've survived. Maybe your childhood is serving from inspiration at this time for you to keep going. And the Queen of Wands, she looks really good while doing it too. She's dressed to impress. I feel like the Five of Cups person can see this about you or they remember this about you. So there's a recalling here from the Five of Cups. I want to ask a question now. Does the Five of Cups want to reunite with the Queen of Wands in this particular reading? Thank you. We have the Death card. So typically this is an ending, okay? And for some of you, this person won't come back. However, it's also rebirth as well. So let's get a little bit more final cards. Let's do some uh, double clarification here at the end. Thank you, Spirit. There's one on the table unturned. I love those ones because you can't see them. All right, so the three that clarify that, King of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Pentacles. In this reading, this person is juggling. Whether this is another person, another ideal, their occupation, which could be filling up here with a lot of demanding time, um, or demanding the King of Cups' time, rather. I feel like this person really needs to speak up and some of you are really sick and tired of it. They're not talking. This is the whole problem with the King of Cups. Um, let me use another deck to clarify. What's their next actions? What's the next actions here for the King of Cups? Thank you. What's the next actions? Fulzim. Oop, I'm going to take those. They flipped. All right. The Hermit is reversed. So this person is going to come toward you with Virgo energy. This means they're coming out of Hermit. They're exposing themselves. It could be too. King of Coins. We have somebody with stable energy or they view the Libra as a stable person. Could have Earth in your chart too, Libra. Okay. And the last one here, the Knight of Coins, but it was reversed today. It was like this on the table. They're changing the way that they operate. Okay. Going from the Fox particularly with the fox, they have a strategy and they're also looming too. They're around whether you see them or not, which is crazy because I feel like they're ready to come out of hiding as this is a very active animal at night. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me. This is video one. We're going to go into Oracle in video two.